Hi guys, I'm Adrian from the new blog, Adrian Goyne, and I'm excited to start today's show off with a closet tour. Is that her closet? O-M-G. Uh-uh. Really, Adrian? Did you see her closet? Really, Adrian? Where's she at? Where do you think? She's in the closet. Adrian! That's me! The closet is very special to me because it holds some of my fondest memories and it's one of my very special DIY projects. Over here I have the table I keep my jewelry on, my hat, um, sunglasses. This is one of my favorite hats I wear it all the time. If you know me, you've seen me in it only because it covers all this forehead here. So, um, and then I keep my sunglasses. I want to say 90% of the sunglasses in these cases are broken. I'm not that graceful. So we keep them in the cases so they look good. Um, and then I would say most of what I spend my money on is jewelry. I love, love, love jewelry. Um, these are some of my favorite pieces here. I love jewelry because you can take the same little black dress and switch your style up like three different ways. Um, if you check out my blog, you'll see a couple of selfies that I've done with um, a lot of the big pieces. I also keep my jewelry in these bands. Last time we, I showed you how I keep my jewelry, jewelry. they were in uh, shoe boxes. But, I like the plastic bands now because you can see through. So I know what is what. I don't have to go through all the shoe boxes. And on the hand here, I have some keychains. I have my little Christmas doll. I have my bracelet for one of my favorite artists, and you'll see this throughout the closet, pieces of his uh, Voodoo Fay. but this is my Heineken bracelet. Not because I like to drink. Well, maybe, but this is my Heineken bracelet. There you go. So that's that table. Over here, I keep a lot of my belts. Um, I don't have a ton, I don't think. I think this is like an average amount of belts um, because I don't wear them a lot. This is, I wear with denim, my black belts. I try to color uh, coat everything. So I start from light to dark. Um, for the most part, I have some chain belts here. Well, maybe it's not light to dark because the white is like right in the middle of everything. So I take that back. Now my little sparkly belt, which is popular. More chain belts. Yeah, that's definitely not colorized. So. Um, and then I have my ears here. I'm a Disney fan and I love to go to Disney World, so I have my mini ears. And then I have my double ear as well, because sometimes I'm not that nice. So, so now we're moving over to the closet that actually came with the room. Um, it's pretty small um, compared to what I need it, which is why the whole room is now a closet. Over here I have a straw hat that I wear sometime in the summer. Okay. I haven't worn it in a long, long time. And then in this tray, I have a lot of my perfumes. Um, some of them are empty, but I like to keep the bottles so I can remember what I love. The smells are still in there, and they just look pretty sitting there. Um, my favorite is this Prada one. It smells really great. It's called Infusion. Hmm. But that's not what I wear right now. Right now, I am wearing... Flower Bomb by Victor Rock. Yeah, this is my favorite right now. It'll change in two weeks. I have some nail polishes, um, some little nail stickers, but I don't have time to go get a manicure. Up on this shelf here, I have my teas. I have my MSTs here. Every year I do the walk for multiple sclerosis and I design t-shirts, so I keep them here. Um, I must have like 30 or 40 of them, but I don't know where they all are. I have a few in that stack. This stack is my football t-shirts. They're all Alabama t-shirts because, as you can see, I am a Roll Tide fan. So that's there. I'll fold it later. Um, here are all my graphic tees, just different graphics. Then I have short sleeves, long sleeves. Um, these are tees from my favorite artists again in Thermos. 
that I'm sure you guys have probably seen me in, if you know me. But that's not a tee, that's a shirt. But I keep all his stuff together. And let's move on. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the closet that came with the room. And what I have up top here are sweaters. Um, again, light to dark for the most part. Um, I haven't been too great with the things that are up top here. Uh, I have my white sweaters, ivories. That's a striped one. I don't think I ever wore that one. I like it, but just haven't found um, a place to wear it yet. And then I have all my chunky sweaters here on the side. These are those big flyaway sweaters. Um, and as you can see on the pole, I have all of my outerwear. I have my sweatshirts. I start with denim jackets, ivory, uh, well, white denim. And then my ivory jackets, and then my light black ones, and then sweater jackets, leather, puffy vest. I love puffy vests. So um, I have a few of those. A blue coat that I thought was pretty, but I never wore. Um, this is the I need to go out and shovel coat. It's big, it's puffy, it's warm. That's the shoveling coat. And then this one, this is my little North Face jacket. I bought this. I went into the city for a day that ended up being two days wearing one of my favorite puffy vests. And it ended up being like 20 below zero. That's where this came from. The next door, I bought it. Okay, so now off to shoes. Over here, I keep all my shoes. I put them on a rack. If you remember the last time we filmed in a closet, I had them above uh, my shirt. It kind of skeeved me out a little bit. I wanted to keep all the shoes together, not over my clothes. So... I bought these racks. I painted the back of the wall gray just because they were metal. And um, I live in a condo, so I don't own the place. And I didn't want to drill too many holes in the wall. So I just got these cool little racks from Walmart. Um, painted the back of the wall gray so that it matches it. It's a nice, clean look. Uh, I started off with my short boots up top, the little booties here. And then they just kind of get longer and longer as they go down. And over on this side, I have my wedges up top just because they fit better here. With the wedges, you can't really smush them in. So they, they fit better up top. And then they just kind of get mixed up as they go down. I, high, I have the higher heels um, here. These are my, um, these are like, these are guest shoes. I call them my hooker shoes, uh, but I'm not a hooker. Well, maybe not tonight. I'm just teasing. <laughs> All right. So then we go down, down, down to the ballet shoes, and um, that's about it. I have more shoes other places, but they're not that uh, clean and pretty because they're more every day, so they're probably out in the condo somewhere floating around. Okay, so let's move on. Now it's time for the fun stuff, evening gowns. Here I have um, a lot of evening gowns and ballroom dresses. I do a lot of ballroom dancing, so this is some of the competition dresses I have. This one uh, is a Max Azria, which I absolutely love. I did a waltz in this, one, two medals. This one, I forget who it is, is that horrible? I'll put it on my blog. But I won like five medals in this dress. And this one I absolutely love because it has all these applique flowers at the bottom of it. It's really heavy, but it's so beautiful. I wore this to a ball, um, which was nice, but I paired it with the black sequins belt. I thought it gave it that extra little pep. And then of course we have the red gown. And this is for dinner out. I haven't worn this one out yet. So anybody want to take me out to dinner? This is the dress I'll wear. I have one here. Uh, there's a few more back there, but these are the evening gowns. So now we're going to move on to bottoms. Okay, so this is one of the smaller closets in the closet. I keep um, all of my denim, my pants, 
uh, in here. I have some more hats. Uh, Rolling Tide, there you go, Alabama. Um, these I have, I think these are mostly capris and summer. Uh, they're all capris, that is what they are. I couldn't remember if I had, they're, they're all capris in different colors, white. Sometimes I go on vacation in the middle, middle of the winter like we all do. I don't want to dig for my summer clothes, so I leave a few out. Uh, these start from maybe my smallest to my biggest or my biggest to my smallest. I fluctuate in size, a couple of sizes every year. So I'll, I'll have like eight, six, four. Right now I'm in the fours, but by summer I might be back in eight. So I keep them out just in case. And then for the pants, um, the skirt is supposed to be back here. I might have colorized it. It looks like I colorized it. So they're colorized going this way. Um, they're just like my dress pants here, work pants, um, my leather pants, and then it goes into skirts all the way back. Underneath, I have those cool little storage bags that you can get from Walmart, and I keep uh, my real summer clothes in. They're stuff that I probably wouldn't take on vacation with me. And then on the other one, I have um, overnight bags. I have tons of overnight bags. So I keep them in a little storage bed. And a couple of bathing suits. That's about what's in there. So let's move on. Okay, so over here we have the scarf girl. On the scarf girl, I have most of all my scarves. Uh, more of the fashion scarves up here. Below her, I have some of the winter scarves, heavier scarves, and um, my shoe fun. If you're ever in a closet, make sure you leave something in the shoe fund. You need to fill some holes over there. And um, she's wearing a helmet. Um, my stepfather gave me this helmet. Special little helmet. Kind of dusty. And then um, a couple more belts. But that's my scarf, girl. So let's move on to shirts. Okay, over on the wall here, we have dresses and tops. I keep the dresses at the, the back. And within color. So I have all the patterns back here, some striped ones. This is one of my favorites, has one sleeve. Nice, BCBG, I think. And then we go into the black. More dresses, more dresses. I like to keep my sweater dresses folded on the hanger so you don't get the hanger marks, the shoulder marks. Um, so I have a lot of sweater dresses, but I suggest you fold them or you'll get those little hanger marks. And you don't want to walk around with two little hanger marks. And then it's jackets and more pattern tops, black tops, brown tops, turquoise tops, blue. Blue was once my favorite color because I happen to be blue in a play. You know, look me up, AdrianGwen.com. You'll see it. Um, then we go into the red, uh, more jackets, tops, whites. It's all colorized. Oh, look at this tunic. Really one of my favorites. The one thing about a tunic is a tunic will always be in style. It's classic. It's timeless. It'll go out. It'll come back. But I just had to show you that. So now, okay, on to the bags. In the beginning, we have more of the summer bags. And it's a little colorized, going white to dark, bright to dark however you want to colorize it. Um, I have my Vera Bradley, a couple of wallets mixed in. I have um, this really great pink patent leather Kate Spade bag. I love it, haven't used it yet, but I love it. And this is a nice Kenneth Cole wristlet. This I use the most when I go out because I don't have to hold on to it. I can just put it on my wrist and it keeps the lipstick, the credit cards, and all the good stuff. Um, clutches, clutches. I love the way clutches look, but I don't use them a lot only because I don't want to hold it unless they have the wristlet idea on it. Um, this one's great. I haven't used this one yet, but this one I love. I think they put a lot in that, right? And you see it's getting dark, uh, metallic. I love the metallic bags because it goes with any color. And then the black, uh, my mohawk, 
for, you know, when I get a little freaky at night. I'm just kidding. All right, and then that's it. That's the closet. Well, everybody, that's my closet. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check me out at adriangwen.com.